carry versus the home office is this case over yes or no now my family we have updates pertaining this case and my family before i tell you these updates allow me to remind you what happened in this case prince harry lost his ICO challenge against the government over his security when in the UK. And Harry was contesting a decision to strip him and Meghan of their armed security. My family, after he and Meghan stepped back as senior members of the royal family, despite the fact that the government knows fully well the threats Harry and Meghan face every day. Despite the fact that my family, they knew why Harry and Meghan was stepping back as senior members of the royal family because of the hate campaign waged by the media against Harry and especially his wife and son, Meghan and Archie. My family. And despite what Wikimedia are doing and still do with this ongoing hate campaign against Harry Meghan and their kids, despite that, still the government and senior members of the royal family refuse to give Harry what he wants, which is adequate security. That way, Harry is able to make visits back to his own country. Because at the end of the day, my family, UK is his home. It's where Harry was born. And my family understand why Harry wants to visit. I understand him. As he said, he wants his kids to understand and know their heritage. And my family, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. However, this constant refusal by the royal family and the government to give what Harry what he wants adequate security that way Harry is able to protect his family my family when they make visits to the UK when they make visits to the UK the government this refusal to guarantee Harry Meghan security my family it is wrong it is evil it is immoral my family and it is corrupt. You know? And Prince Harry said that he was going to appeal against the court's ruling that there was nothing unlawful when Ravik made the decision to take away Harry's security. My family. And my family, today we have an update on that case. And allow me to speak about that update, family, that update, and also on Harry's, you know, appeal. First of all, Prince Harry has received a ten percent discount on his legal costs. In his case, against the Home Office, after a judge penalized the government for a delay. In providing key documents. And Prince Harry had sought a judicial review over the decision to remove his automatic right to security while in Britain family. After he stepped back as a senior member of the royal family back in 2020 family. And uh, Prince Harry lost the case in February and new court documents seen show that Sir Peter Lane the High Court judge has refused Prince Harry's permission to appeal and that Harry's legal team is expected to take the case to the Court of Appeal in a fight that my family you know 
Harry clearly intends on winning. You know, my family, Judge Sir Peter Lane, has refused Prince Harry permission to appeal the case. He has refused Harry permission to appeal the case. And that now Harry's legal team is expected to take the case to the Court of Appeal. My family, that is the update that my family we are finding out right now of what has went on in court, my family, and what the judge has said. The judge has refused Harry permission to appeal and that Harry, you know, now wants to go to the Court of Appeal, my family. As of now, he hasn't filed a case, you know, to the Court of Appeal. And my family, allow me to talk about this, you know, developments. I understand Prince Harry. I understand how he does want to make visits to the UK. I understand that very well. And Harry is a good man. He's a good husband. He's a good father who cares about his kids. Who has fought so hard to ensure that my family, no one is able to take away his kids' birthright. And no one should be able to. And my family, and that's why even it's important for Archie and Lilibet to basically be prince and princess. Because my family, those were the rules. Those, my family, are the rules in the royal family. That the grandchild, you know, of the current reigning monarch is to be referred to as, is to be styled as prince and princess, my family. But we know that the royal family, meaning Charles and William, were trying to change conventions to ensure that Archie and Lilibet never ever were styled as prince and princess, my family. And all because of the fact that Archie and Lilibet are mixed race. In my family, it's all about just, you know, racism, really. That's why the farm, meaning William and Charles, have done everything in their power to make Megan, even Harry and Megan kids, feel unwelcomed, you know, my family in the royal family. And I'm happy that Prince Harry fought for his kids' birthright, my family, by ensuring that their kids were styled as prince and princess, my family, following the law, to follow really, you know, the law, that all grandkids of the current reigning monarch are to, are to be styled as prince and princess. That is the law. And it was also sad to hear that those rules, the farm wanted to change, all to deny Harry Megan's kids, you know, titles. It was so sad to hear that my family. But I'm happy that Harry and Meghan fought for their kids Bathory my family. Bathory my family. And I find that, you know, very, very important what Harry and Meghan did. Fight for their kids. Bathory my family. Bathory my family. You know? And uh, my family, basically, as they continue, right now we are seeing that Prince Harry is also fighting for security, for Megan, Archie, Lilibet, and himself. And he's also doing the right thing. He's also doing the right thing. Because he knows what happened to his mother. He knows how UK Media have, are my family. How they operate. He knows that the tablets in the UK have blood on their hands. He knows that. And so Prince Harry knows of the threats that he and Megan face. And that's why my family, Harry, is fighting. Fighting to ensure his kids are safe. Fighting to ensure that he and Megan are safe. And my family, I applaud him for that. And that even despite facing setbacks in the family, even despite facing legal setbacks in court, 
Harry keeps on fighting. My family. Truly, he is a warrior. He is, my family, a warrior. A real soldier. An amazing husband and a father. But also, I do want to say this. Things in life happen for a reason. You and I have openly discussed why it is much better off for Harry Meghan, much better for Harry Meghan to be as far away as possible from the abusers who sadly are located in the UK, who sadly are based in the UK, and that is the Rorota. Those carnival of so-called experts who cover the Ro family in the UK for a living. Harry Meghan and their kids are much, much better off being as far away as possible from the UK media and from their carnival of so-called experts. You know, they are far better off. And my family, as I've said, things happen for a reason. Maybe Harry wasn't able to succeed in this case because their fate or destiny is to be, my family, is to stay or live in an environment that is healthy for Harry and Meghan's mental health, my family. Maybe that's why Harry hasn't been, my family, successful in this case. You know? Because clearly, there is no way he'll bring Meghan, Archie, or Lilibet to the UK when he knows it is unsafe for his family. Harry has made it very, very clear, my family. And I believe because of this move by the government and the firm to deny Prince Harry and Harry's family security when they are in the UK, my family, it shows that clearly Meghan, Archie, Lilibet are not going to the UK on May 8th for the In Victor's Games 10th anniversary service being held at St. Paul's Cathedral. And my family, that is good news. That is good news. That is good news, my family. It means that Archie, Lilibet, and Megan will continue to have a good time in California. Will continue to be in an environment that is healthy for their mental health. It means that Megan, Archie, Lilibet will continue to be at peace, will continue to live in peace. My family. And that is good. And that is good, my family. That is good. That is very, very good. And I know how much Harry wants to get security for Megan, Archie, and Lilibet, my family. I know that. I can see it. And for me, I do hope he gets what he wants. I do hope he gets, you know, what he wants. But also, my family, as much as I do want Harry to get what he wants, I still believe in my mind and heart that my family he is far, far better off being as far away as possible from his abusers. And by taking himself or Megan, you know, and Archie, any little bit, even for a visit to the UK, it's unsafe. It is unsafe. It is unsafe. And I want Harry Meghan to be safe. You know? That's what I wish for Harry Meghan. For them to be safe, for them to be happy, and for them to thrive. And clearly, they won't be able to thrive by being anywhere around their abusers, my family. You know? And clearly, the rota is based in the UK. And wherever they are, my family is unsafe for Harry, you know, Meghan and their kids. And my family, in a new twist in the case, documents lodged at the High Court show that the Home Office has been penalized for its delay in giving or providing information about the workings of RAVEC, a committee with representatives from the Home Office, my police, 
and their own household that oversees the security arrangements for their own family and other high profile figures when it should have legally done so. And the Home Office failed to mention three categories of people for whom Ravi provides state protection, my family. And that is raw based individuals such as working members of the raw family, other VIPs, and those who need or kill no support. It meant that Prince High's legal team had not been made aware of the other VIP category, my family. And the reason they were heading that, my family, is because, of course, they did not want Harry, you know, to win this case, my family. You know, because the firm in William and Charles don't want Harry to get what he wants. Don't want Harry to get, you know, my family security. If effective security, they don't want Harry to get that at all. And the thing is, you can see the power that Charles has. For example, when Prince Harry was in the UK, after Charles, you know, was diagnosed with cancer, after Charles was diagnosed with cancer, when Harry was in the UK, it was clear that my family, Charles had the power to ensure that Harry received effective security. I mean, when Harry was in the UK, my family, you could see that Prince Harry, wherever he went, my family, he was, you know, closely guarded by security, my family. Even the police came to the airport to pick up Prince Harry, my family. After Charles was diagnosed with cancer, the police came to pick up Prince Harry at the airport. And we were told this could only happen, my family, with government approval. Clearly, it is not just government approval, my family. It is with Charles' approval. The king has the power to ensure that Prince Harry and Meghan, if they do visit, can be able to have adequate, effective security, can be able to be escorted by a police escort that will ensure the safety of Harry and Meghan if they do visit the Kimi family. But you know what? They don't want Harry to get security. They want Harry to be at the mercy of Charles. That he, if he wants this, my family, he should be on his knees begging Charles to get this, my family. That's what they want. That's what they want. To see Harry begging his abusers, you know, for my family security. And I believe that's even why the farm really wanted Harry to lose this case. Because they want Harry at their mercy. And also because they want to keep Megan, Archie, Lilibet away from the key because Charles and William are so full of envy towards Harry and Megan's star power. You know, my family. And it's so wrong what Charles is doing. It is so wrong. It is so wrong what Charles is doing, my family. Endangering the life of his own son. All because of envy, jealousy, because of high star power. It is so wrong what Charles, my family, is doing. You know? And my family, Prince Harry's legal team argued that this was crucial to his claim and sought a reduction of 50 to 60 percent because the way in which the documents and information were disclosed by the government department. And the judge said that while the Home Office had not acted in bad faith, the defendant's breaches are in all the circumstances, my family, sanctionable. Nevertheless, in a document signed last week, the judge refused her permission to appeal. And my family, you know, if Prince Harry files a case at the Court of Appeal, my family will update you all my family. But really, I hope he does not. I hope he does not. I hope he does not, you know, continue or proceed. I think 
that the message is very, very clear here. If Prince Harry really wants security, he won't get it in court. He will not get it there, my family. He won't. He won't. If he wants security, only one person can give it, can order Harry to receive, you know, security, my family. And that is Charles. And he won't do it, my family. He will not do it. For as long as he sees Harry and Meghan thriving, living their best lives, for as long as he sees Prince Harry being a good father, a good husband to Meghan, Charles is never going to give Harry security. He is never ever going to my family do that. He won't. He just won't. You know? And it is sad. It is my family very, very sad to see what Charles is doing. You know, it, it is so low to put your son in danger all because you're full of envy towards his star power, because of his, you know, star power and fame. It, it is, you know, so wrong. And my family, I do hope that Prince Harry doesn't find an appeal at the court of appeal family and just, you know, let it go in family. Let it just go. And keep his distance from his abusers as far as possible and ensure his kids are brought up in my family in the USA, my family. You know? And really, after this case, I really hope that we don't have to hear, you know, carnival of so-called experts saying that, you know what, you know what? Charles wants to see, you know, Lilibet and Archie. The guy doesn't want to see them. Because if he wanted to see them, he would have given Harry what Harry wants. Security. He would have guaranteed Harry that whenever he visits, he'll get adequate, effective security in family. But Charles doesn't want to do that. He does not want to do that. Because he doesn't want to be overshadowed by Megan Archie Lilibet. My family. Charles wants the spotlight on him. And he doesn't care about Archie or even my family, my family. And it's so sad. You know? And my family, honestly, to me, I say this. Things happen for a reason. Things happen for a reason, my family. And even if Harry, you know, has lost this case, it just goes to me from that clearly, you know, he, Megan, Archie, Libet are far much better off to be living in the US and not in the UK, whereby they clearly are very much unsafe with the ongoing, you know, UK media hate campaign against them and family. Harry and Meghan are way much better off being in an environment whereby they feel safe, whereby they are happy, and whereby they are okay, my family. And may God bless Harry and Meghan, my family. You tell me kindly your thoughts about what we have just discussed. I even hope that Prince Harry on May 8th also doesn't come. You know? I hope that my family, he protects his peace and mental health, my family. Oh, and before we end this video, we are learning that a legal spokesman at Shillings, who represent Prince Harry, confirm that Prince Harry will be seeking permission from the Court of Appeal to challenge the decision of Mr. Justice Lane. My family has said that Prince Harry's hope for an appeal against the ruling are completely hopeless, my family, are frankly hopeless. Those are the words of Justice Sir Peter Lane, my family. He said, when Prince Harry asked to appeal, he said that it is frankly hopeless for him to appeal. And my family, allow me to kindly say this. I do have to agree with Justice Sir Peter Lane. And my family, I'll tell you why. This is about politics, my family. It's about politics. It's about King Charles and William trying to ensure that they can control Prince Harry. That they can manage Harry's movements when Harry is in the UK. It's about control. 
And the fact is, if Charles and William don't want Harry to have security, then Harry will not have security. That is a fact. That is a fact. If the head of state, who is Charles, doesn't want Harry to be protected when he is in the UK, then my family, Harry, won't have the security that he needs. My family, it's all down to Charles and Prince William. If Harry wants security to the courts, I'm sorry, he is not going to get it. He is not going to get in my family. Even if he has friends, like for example, the minister for veterans, Johnny Massa, who are his friends, my family, the fact is even if he has them in his corner, if Charles and William don't want Harry to have armed security when he is in the UK, if Charles and William don't want Harry to have met police protection when Harry is in the UK, then Harry won't have met police protection when he is in the UK. And that's why I must admit with the judge. I must admit with what the judge is saying, is saying my family. That even if Harry appeals, it's hopeless. My family. People in power don't want Harry to have security. You know? And even if the decision was taken back to Ravik to decide, you know, to review the decision, take away Harry and make a security my family. Even if that decision was taken back to Ravik, my family, still they can say no. Still they can say no. That they don't have to give Harry the security that he wants and needs. That he knows is enough to protect his family when him and Megan travel or visit the UK with their kids. So my family, this battle by Harry is noble. It is noble. And my family, I can see the length that he is willing to go to to protect his family. But he won't get the relief he wants from the courts. And that is even what the judge has said. You know? And my family... I am not saying this just because, you know, of course, I don't want Harry Meghan to be around the abusers. No. I'm saying it because of what I have seen. If Charles ensured that Harry received met police protection when Harry came to the UK after my family, Charles, said that he had cancer, Charles showed us he has the power to give Harry what he wants. You know? However, in court you're hearing is the government who makes the decision. Clearly, it is Charles. It is Charles. It is Charles. And that's why I'm saying if Harry wants to win security in court, he won't be able to get it. He won't be able to get what he wants. Even Charles and William won't allow him to get what he wants. You know? They won't. Because if Harry was to get security through the courts, my family, by fighting in court and then winning, you know, my family security, then Charles and William, what control will they have over Prince Harry? How will they be able to control Harry's movements in the UK. How? It will be impossible. It will be impossible. It will be difficult. And that's why Charles and William won't allow Harry to have security because they want to control him. They want for Harry to be at their mercy. That is what they want. To see Harry at their mercy. To see Harry pleading with them security. That's what they want. They want Harry to pick up the phone call and beg his father not just for money but also for security. That is what they want. 
Because if Harry can beg, it means he can be controlled. It's all about trying to control the spare. It's all about controlling Prince Harry. You know? That's what the firm wants. That's what UK media want to see. Charles controlling Prince Harry. And that's why, my family, I say this and I say this again. Prince Harry, even though he wants beauty, by fighting God, by fighting God for it. The courts are not the way to handle this situation. My family, it's a good way to create historical record because now the entire world knows that Prince Harry indeed does want security for Meghan, for Archie and for Lilibet. And if God forbid anything were to happen to him, God forbid my family, then clearly Harry can say, actually my family, you know, people from all across the world will be like, but Harry was fighting for security and you denied him. People can say that. You know, after Diana's passing, the firm said that Diana refused security. My family, who refuses security? Who does that? Who does that? Especially if you're someone who is hounded every day, how do you refuse security? But that's what the firm said. You know? And there were no court battles in court, you know, of Diana fighting for security, my family, of Diana fighting for security. We never ever saw that. And people believed what they were told. But in the case of Prince Harry, now my family, we have evidence that Prince Harry right now is fighting for security in court. You know? Meaning that God forbid anything were to happen to him. My family, the farm would be to blame. The government would be to blame. So my family, what Harry is doing is good for historical record. It is good for evidence. For my family, he won't be able to get security through the courts. If the head of state says, Harry, no security, then my family, Harry, won't get his security. And I know you know I am right. I know you know deep inside of you, you know that that is true. My family, you know that that is true. And my family, it's a fact. It's, it's really a fact. You know, and, and I do agree with, with the judge. You know, I do agree with the judge. When he said, he still won't be able to grant relief to Prince Harry. I agree with him. Because this matter, my family, is about basically Charles denying his son's security. It is him who has the power to call the government, to call home office and tell them, give my son security. He is the son of the king. Whether or not he's a working lord or not, he is the son of the king. And so my family, what's happening right now, if Prince Harry really wants security, my family, he won't get it in court. I'm sorry, but he just won't. He just won't. But Charles and William want to see him begging for security. That's what they want to see Harry doing, my family. You know? That's what they want to see Harry doing, my family. And because of Harry's court case, you know, which my family, even Harry now, intends on appealing after the judge ruled, you know, against Prince Harry. By saying that even if Harry appeals, it's hopeless. My family, in this court case, you know, I do agree with the judge. I'm sorry, but I agree with the judge. I agree with the judge. Of course, I want her to get what he wants. But also, I would like to see, you know, Megan Archie a little bit safe. And clearly, the UK isn't safe, you know, for Archie, Megan, and Lilibet, my family. And even for Prince Harry himself. Harry and Meghan are much better off 
living in the US with their kids for a very, very, you know, my friend, long time. And I understand that Harry would love to visit the UK because at the end of the day, my family, his mother is buried there, you know, he's grown up there, you know, basically he has served the country for more than a decade, my family. I understand that. But really what Charles wants is to see Harry begging. What William wants is to see Harry begging. Harry, don't give them the pleasure of seeing you beg. And I can tell you for a fact, even if UK media are glowing right now, oh yeah, you know, Harry lost the case. My family, remember one thing, they are the ones who are desperate to have Harry back in the UK. They are the ones who, are to, who want access to Archie and Lily but Diana. And now, because Harry has been unable to get what he wants, and that is to be able to, my family, get security for his family, for Megan, Archie, and Lily Bedana family, then there is no way Harry is bringing Megan, Archie, Lily Bet to the UK with a proper, adequate, and effective security my family. And you know who that hurts? It hurts the UK tabloid press. They are the ones who my family will be hurt, you know, because this decision family. So right now they're happy, right now. They're happy, they're celebrating, they're jumping up and down. They're reporting about this loss, you know, my family everywhere. But remember this, tomorrow you'll hear them saying, is Harry coming? Is Harry coming to the UK? Is Harry coming? Is he coming? Is he coming? When is he coming? That's what they'll do, my family. When they do that, remind them that Prince Harry has been unable to secure security for his family, meaning that there's no way that my family, Harry, can bring Meghan, Archie, Hilbert to a place that he knows is unsafe, my family. But then because of the hate campaign, you know, UK media have waged against Meghan, Archie, and Lilibet, Diana, and even Harry himself. But mostly, UK media go after Meghan, Archie, Lilibet. Not really, you know, too much Prince Harry. Mostly it's his family. Mostly it's those who he loves my family. And it's all wrong what UK media my family have done. And my family, tell me what you think yourself. Do you think Prince Harry can get reprieve in court? Even if he fights at the court of appeal. Hoping that maybe this decision to strip him and make Ghana over security. That maybe the Ravik will sit again and review that my family decision. Do you think that Harry will be able to gain relief through the courts? Or do you believe, like me, this is what someone like Charles can do? Charles is the one who has the power to give Harry security to my family and what he wants and what he's always been looking for is leverage over Prince Harry. And my family, the one thing that we don't want to see is Harry begging or Harry being at the mercy of Charles, not for money or even for security my family. Now my family, you tell me kindly your thoughts about what we have just discussed. God bless Harry, Megan Archie and also Lily Badana. And may no perform against Harry, Megan Archie and also Lily Badana, my family, El Cospa. Stay tuned to this video. Love you all and forever. Hello, members of Jusko Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil. And for that, I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart. And I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.